defense makes a mistake. <laughs> and bam! You ain't dunks in your face. This is a Let's run it back from the top. Here we go. Alright, here we go. Salute to Knicks Nation on this Friday evening. Another edition of KFTV Post Game Live presented by Underdog Fantasy. Go to underdogfantasy.com and use our code KFTV for an instant deposit match of up to $100. The Knicks return home to Madison Square Garden after a beat Boston beatdown to take on the New Jersey Nets. But this one would start off a little tricky, man, because Cam Thomas and uh, Watford and the boys had other plans. Lonnie Walker. And before the Knicks knew it, they were down by 17 points on what should have been a bum night. But it was a tale of two halves as Jalen and the dog OG Ananobi go off in the third quarter. Josh Hart, a.k.a. New York Grit, doing his thing. The block nest monster. Oh, they tried the hacker Mitch. And he knocked them down in the nick of time. And in the end, the Knicks survivor Cam Thomas scare, man. 111 to 107. Four in a row. Well, we're not going for number four, Al. We're going for number two. Knicks doing what they need to do, man. Taking care of business. One game down, one to go. Let's talk about it, man. Call us up, 657-383-1509. Or you can hit us up on the KFTV Discord. CP the franchise, Alex Rattaros on the ones and twos. Should have been a bum night. Should have been a bum night. But, you know, I almost expected the sloppy start. You had no Hartenstein, no McBride. Both of those guys mm -hmm. getting rest. I kind of felt like, you know, just from a human nature standpoint, with this Knicks team having played the night before, kind of came out the gate slow. Brunson didn't score his first points until the second quarter. You know, good job by the Kansas rookie in, in you know, just stepping up and putting the effort out there to guard him. But uh, just kind of going through the motions is what I saw from this team in the first half. But second half, they woke up. I don't know if it was a Tibbs uh, locker room speech, Lou Rockney style, but they, they woke up. The dog erupted for 13 points. Well, actually, second quarter, they did kind of start waking up about that point and, and start kind of claw clawing their way back into the game. Um, but then in the third, you know, OG really started to dominate. 13 points in the third for OG Ananobi. And then taking it into the fourth, man, it was Captain Clutch time. Jalen Brunson with clutch bucket after clutch bucket. The Nets tried the hack of Mitch route for, you mm. know, three times. They sent Mitch to the free throw line for three times. He went one of two, one of two, and then knocked it down. Two of two. Garden goes off. And then Brunson gets his clutch bucket in the end, man. So... What would you think about this one, bro? I mean, it was a gritty effort by the Knicks after coming out yeah. of the gates very slow. And look, you said all the stuff that impacted their start, right? You put, just had a, a magnificent effort, especially from Jalen Brunson uh, against Boston last night. You're on the second game of a back-to-back. -back. You just had to travel back from Beantown to now play at your home. So you knew there was going to be a little bit of a, a lag in these guy in this guy in these guys' effort uh, tonight. But hey, give credit to them, man, because they were able to lock in and understand that there's an objective here, yeah. and it's not just to make the playoffs; it's to have home court advantage. And they knew that was on the line tonight, especially with Milwaukee losing. Right? Yeah. You have the Knicks in position now to be a top four, like lock top four seed in the Eastern conference playoffs. Yeah. And they were able to do that tonight by defeating the Brooklyn Nets and coming all the way back. And look, a magnificent performance in the third quarter, right? Because between Brunson and OG, these guys were not missing many shots. I mean, OG went six to seven, got you 15 points. He had, he went all of five in the first half, then gets you 15 points in the third quarter to get things going. And they were leaving him yeah. wide open for three, just wide drills. Open. Three what, what, was three that was downtown. that Kevin Ali's idea? <laughs> Whose idea was it? I, I to, guess so, man. I, <laughs> to leave the prolific guard, quarter three one of our best three point shooters wide open, wide open, bro. I, I don't know yeah, whose idea that was. Jalen Brunson doing his thing, man. I mean, he went four for eight, got yeah. you eleven points out of his twenty uh, after he got going in the second quarter. But between those two guys, man, it, it was really a tale of two halves, as you like to say. And yeah. you know, the rebounding battle. I wish it was a little bit better between. 
for the New York Knicks because the the Nets were able to get one on on the Knicks in that in that category, but yeah. they did just enough, man, to to squeeze by and come out with the victory to seal to seal a top four Eastern top Conference four. playoff. Okay, Let's they go. will have home court advantage in the first round, so kudos to them, man, for getting Let's the job go. done. Hey, man, that that's what it's all about taking care of business. It wasn't pretty, but it was gritty. I felt like I haven't said that in you know fifty games, man. It was a while. What? When was the last time we like? It was just one of those. Wasn't pretty, but it was gritty. I, I feel like that that describes most of what the Knicks have been doing since everyone got injured. I don't know, man. Like I, I don't know, man. I got to go back and look. We got to go back and look. It wasn't last night. Sure, it certainly wasn't last night. It was not last night. Yeah. The last couple of games, it, it was not. It was not. That's like what that. I'm saying. They've been taking care of business. You know, you love to see it. Yeah. Hey, especially against the the Bucks and the Celtics in yeah. one week, they beat the number one and number two team. Yeah. Pretty convincingly, CP. That's what I mean. These guys are ready for the playoffs. They washed the Bucks. They washed the Celtics. We got to go back into archives. When was the last time we had a? It wasn't pretty, but it was a gritty game. We'll, we'll we'll take a look at that. But according to our guy we just Ian Begley, ask TM TM, TM, will, TM will know. TM will know. According to our guy Ian Begley, Knicks win tonight and can finish second in the East if they beat the Bulls on Sunday and Milwaukee loses the final two. We know that. Uh, but here comes Philly because Philly beat Orlando tonight. Uh, Philly will finish sixth with a win versus Brooklyn on Sunday and an Orlando win versus Milwaukee, which is, you know, very plausible, very possible. Uh, If Milwaukee beats Orlando on Sunday, New York can finish no higher than third. So there it is. No lower than fifth right now. And uh, can go anywhere between second, third, and fourth. Who, the think? Knicks, you're saying? Yeah. Okay, Knicks. no, he says it's between second and fourth. Second and fourth. There yeah, you go. second and fourth. That's why I second thought. And fourth. They, they got home court advantage. So, yeah. two and four. Hey, man. At this point, are you looking at the seating and saying, who do you want to play? Because as of right now, it looks like we're getting a collision course for uh, the Celtics to be playing the Miami Heat in uh, round one. Yeah, I love that. That should be interesting. I, I am, love I am loving everything about it, yeah. man. Loving everything put, about that matchup. Put them on the stove right and then and then early. Pressure. Turn oh, it up. You you know Jimmy is ready. You Pressure. know Jimmy is ready for this. And bam. Woo. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, but Miami's still scared. They got to take care of business, right? They got to get out of the play-in first. They got to get out of the play-in. But we know how that goes. I feel like I feel like that story's already written itself, CP. It's yeah. Like they're going to do it. You know, we're going to watch them get the A seed. I don't, I don't think hey. they can beat Philly, but between the Hawks and the Bulls, it feels like that's very doable. Listen, la- last year's play wasn't easy for Miami, right? They lost to the Hawks in the first one, and then the Bulls had them on the ropes. So we'll we'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll, we'll see what happens there. Uh, you know, uh, seeding-wise, look, I, I just like the fact that we get home court in the first round. Mm-hmm. Ideally, I would have to think – that game would be Sunday. You know, mm-hmm. you, you're going to have all the major markets in the dance. So you're going to have New York, Boston, Philly, and the Lakers. With all the West Coast games to play, I would have to think New York would be – I would have to think we'd be probably the second game on the Sunday. Which means like a 3.30, 4 o'clock game. Weren't, wasn't that what, where we were uh, last year? Well, we played in Cleveland yeah, last it was year. Thir- it was 3.30. It was 3.30 last year in Cleveland. Yeah. So is it a 1 o'clock game? Is it a 3.30 game? We'll see. But I, I think we will get Sunday. That makes sense. Was it Saturday last sense. year or was it Sunday last year? That that game won oh. against Cleveland. I thought it was Sunday. I don't remember. I don't remember. I, I, I just feel like we would get Sunday. Just just be any. I yeah. mean, anyway, CP, we're yeah. on a collision course for uh, uh, some familiar territory between uh, the New York Knicks and the Indiana Pacers, it looks like. Mm-hmm. We got to go to Indy, man. I know you're ready to travel to Indiana. <laughs> Get CP that plane ticket. <laughs> and Food a whole review by CP oh, and the man. franchise out I mean, in Indiana. I mean, I got to go to Trader Joe's at the end of the week, pack up a loaf of bread, <laughs> <laughs> some almond butter and jelly. <laughs> And get to, get to going, man. I got to pack some sandwiches for the road, bro. 
You telling me you don't want to have some corn while you're out in Indiana? <laughs> oh, man. They do have some sort of, like, ill barbecue spot, though, that I think, you know, everybody went to during All-Star. I guess you got to check that out, you know, maybe once. But how many days in a row can you eat barbecue? I, I got to pack. CGP and his overalls out in the farm. Yeah. <laughs> but, but anyway, man. Um, yeah, just just overall great job by them taking care of business. Cam Thomas, man, I was impressed by him tonight. You know, he's always a bucket, but tonight – he was more of an impactful bucket. You know, sometimes he, he can just hoist them up, and it really means nothing for the Nets. But uh, I thought he was dangerous tonight. We really missed McBride tonight, you know, to be able to keep up with him step for step and make it hard for him to score. You know, just be a disruptor for him. It was a little too mm-hmm. easy for him tonight, and he really got into a groove. And even though the Knicks were able to get the lead back in the fourth, it, it was far from over, man. Cam Thomas kept charging. Uh, Mikhail Bridges barely even played. I don't even think he played the fourth. And, yeah, he didn't uh, play the fourth at all. Yeah, so, you know, uh, I thought it was a scrappy job by um, by the Nets, but, you know, when the Knicks needed to take care of business, they did. I like how Mitch looked out there. Did we mm-hmm. overrate Nick Claxton? Or, or like, the guy went from being, like, a, a pretty good factor last year. I mean, early last year, he, he was in an all-defense conversation. And now you don't even know he's out there on the floor. Yeah, CP. I mean, that's what kind of happens when you don't have Kyrie Irving and Kevin Durant on your team to, you know. Yeah, yeah. Where the, you're forcing the your opponent to worry on defense, you know, it kind of makes them have to work uh, 10 times harder. Also, yeah. Kevin Durant has, has low-key improved defensively, too. So having KD and Nick Claxton as a front court is actually pretty solid. But uh, between – I mean, Mitchell Robinson was just taking his food tonight, man. And yeah. You just love to see it. You love to see that Mitch is getting back into his group, man. I mean, you talked about the hack of Mitch at the end, and he drills both of those that free was nice. throws just like it was Miami. Yeah, right? I like that. Just that's what you like to see, man. And you saw he was shaking his head. He's like, "Nah, they're trying. They're trying to do me dirty." Yeah, he was like shaking his head, like, "Nah, they're trying to do me dirty." I'm gonna go out here and knock these free throws down and make them pay for doing this. And that they did. They and they stopped doing it. You yeah. like to see that. I like how Mitch is up for the challenge. And it was a nice pressure situation, both for him and, and the team, and, and you know, in, in executing in, in those situations because uh, the Knicks haven't seen that all year, really. I don't think we have seen mm-hmm. it all year where where teams went to a hack a Mitch scenario. Like he did miss fifty games, but even still, when he was rocking, I don't I don't think I don't recall a game where that happened. So um, that was a good good opportunity for them to adjust and be ready for it. Um, no I heart. He missed the second half of a back to back injury management. During the telecast, they said he's completely fine. It's just protocol at this point for him to just rest. And, and I'm with that. Just go ahead and rest. You had Mitch. You had Precious. You had Sims against the Nets. You really didn't need all your guys you didn't to be to, going no, pedal to didn't. the metal. You know what I mean? No, you didn't at all. I mean, look at tonight. I mean, Waxton, like, he, he got his numbers, man. I mean, he got his 12 boards. He got his nine points. But tonight was not a night. I mean, we've seen this in the past before, too, where you had yeah. Jericho Sims starting at the center against the Nets. And, it was just fine, and look, they were able to get through with just having Sims, Mitch, Precious, to everybody else going out there. You didn't even need McBride out there tonight, so they had enough. I mean, Cam Thomas is just a beast, though. Like you, you talked it. about, it. fifteen to twenty six on the court. You gotta salute to him, even though that was a weak move to shove Jalen Brunson. I did again. not like that. Man. I did not like that. Bro. I didn't like that. But shout out to OG for coming through in his defense, man. We need an enforcer. Absolutely. We need an enforcer. That that that's got got gotten me uh, a little ticked off because it happened twice. I think this week, where you know Captain Clutch gets knocked down and nobody's coming to the rescue. Like, come on, man. I know we're on this like buddy buddy era of the NBA, but we come on, man. We can't let that slide. This is our guy. We got to protect him. Well, the enforcer is Isaiah Hardstein. That, yeah, yeah. that is who yeah, the enforcer yeah. is. Yeah. But he's not on the court. So the fact that we got two guys now, you can say Isaiah and OG. Yeah. Right. Th- those are your two guys that are going to be the enforcer. You, you like to see it, man. But I like to, you know, yeah. I like that OG stepped up. You saw he had a little bit of yeah. motion there. The you Brit. Like it. <laughs> yeah, man. The, the Brit of all people came to our guys' defense. Like, come on, man. What a Nova Knicks set. What are y'all doing, man? My man gets knocked into Spike. Where's Josh Hart? Yeah, where y'all at? Like, where's the roommates at? My man gets knocked into the front row in in Spike's lap, and everybody's walking to the other end of the court. It took the Brit to come check in with little Cam Thomas. Like, yo, we can't have that here in the world's most famous arena, my man. 
I mean, Josh, don't you want to make sure your your co-host is okay to do another show? Like, sheesh. That's what I'm thinking. Like, I'm to his defense. You guys are making money off this thing. Yeah. <laughs> the quiz says we need a final boss. Uh, Cortland Sproul says OG was like, yo, my guy. Yeah, we needed the Brit to step up. Who? Uh, Jaws Rodriguez says uh, OG hit him with the, oi, mate, you stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Jow, is that uh, is that um, Portuguese? You, you gotta you gotta uh, pronounce your name for me. I, I think I botched it, man. So apologies if I did. Anyway, so to everybody in the chat, man, hit that thumbs up on free boys. CP and Alex on the ones and twos. Throw number four in the chat, man. Knicks did win four in a row. You know, uh, we are still in the third C, but we are climbing. But throw another f- number four in the chat and taking care of business and getting it done. You know what? Since we since we talked about Mitch tonight. And they try to disrespect the Block Ness monster tonight. We haven't heard from our guy in a little bit. Let's go to the phones and get to Cody Glock first to open up wow. the show. Let's go to him, man. Cody Glock, what's good, bro? I'm in the placement. You're in the place. Friday night, Knicks. What's good? Doing it just to get there. Let's Yo, go. Yo, man. Yeah. Just to get there. Shout out Mass Skate Ma. Yeah. I have a zero turnovers because of Mass Skate Ma. Nice. I take care of the ball profusely with the utmost friction in my mission. No Got testimonials. Got to. Church preach tabernacle. Okay. Yo, man. This is MVP tier we talking about here. I don't mm. care what anybody says. I don't care if it's the end of the season. Jalen Brunson's is him. Oh, my mm. goodness gracious. Mm. Last okay. year, last year I said J- Jalen Brunson needs to improve his three-point shooting. And his passing for the Knicks to take the next step to the highest level. And this year, he's improved upon that and then some, bro. Thanks to the clearing of the floor after trading RJ and Quick for OG and a defense and Pikachu. He's been showing the bag, bro. And it's been ridiculous, bro. Like, he's like a better version of Tony Parker. I I, I was listening on to a show you don't know who to compare Brunson to. I think... He's a better version of Tony Parker. That's the only play mm. I could really compare it to, being that Tony Parker was great at getting baskets in the paint post mid-range area, being the only guard amongst big men to do that, just like Jalen Brunson, you know? Mm. Jalen just shoots the three, which makes him even more deadly. Alex boy. Caruso, like 2-3, he's an all-defense. He wasn't even there, bro. Yeah. And and tonight he was cooking everybody else, and he started off bad. Let, 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 yeah. let me let me tell you something about let's, Mitchell. Let's go. We waiting. Listen, for that, man. man. Let's go. Let's go. But let me tell you something about Mitchell because you see Mitchell. Yeah. He ain't no snitchla. He we had his we had oh. Uncle Mitchell come bless the pod the other night. I was yeah. baffled. It was grand, bro. Grandpa. I, I was sitting there. Grand, grandpa Mitch. I was in the crib wilding off of that. Yeah. Yeah. Grandpa Robinson. But but you seen yeah. you seen jail over the past three days. The Mitch and OG lineup been in there getting the reps in. You feel OG came and gave you fifteen in one quarter. Yeah, you know two three steals. People might you know the stat sheet doesn't show like certain impacts these people like Mitch Rob out there hitting free throws like free, like Ray Allen. The Knicks go and get the third, second seed Eastern Conference Finals, our destination. It's real, bro. Shout out Nikki Pipes, man. Shout out CP Free Throws, man. Yeah. Shout out Bodega for playing better. Yeah. Shout out JD, man. Shout out Chuck D. Hashtag P in the chat. Shout out yeah. UConn. Shout out South Carolina. Shout out Felton Spencer, man. <laughs> Shout out Vibes Cartel. RP Mr. C, man. I'm out, man. RP right. OJ, man. R.I.P. Mr. C. R.I.P. to the juice. Cody Glock setting the airwaves on fire tonight with the opener. That was a good pick by me. Shout out to Cody Glock, man. Yeah, give that five. I gotta give that five. We gotta give it a five. We gotta give it a five, man. Yeah. We we gotta give it a five, man. Great, great job by him. Brought the heat early, man. Set the set the a good tone for the show. It's Friday night, you know. Good job by Cody Glock, man. Good job, bro. Call back anytime, man. You're you're our guy. You know, what what do you say about uh, Precious Pikachu? Pikachu. That, that was a that was a good bar. Or right? Precious Chua. Precious. <laughs> was it Pikachu? Precious. I think it was, I don't I think even it was Pikachu. It Pikachu. I think it was Pikachu, man. Man, put Pikachu and Precious yeah. Pikachu together. A unanimous fives. The chat is going crazy, man. The chat is going crazy. Great job by by. Uh, the Glockster. Great job, man. Okay. Pikachu. 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 Yep. 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 
That's a new one. Um, Who's who, going to make that edit, CP, where Precious is on <laughs> Pikachu? <laughs> <laughs> so somebody on the other KFTV uh, uh, video team, Tyler Gamba, what, what do we got, man? Yeah, R.I.P. Mr. C, man. Lots of tributes going, uh, going about. Uh, Mr. C, very impactful to the culture, man. He was a big staple. Yeah, on the ground crypto. Yeah, Mr. C passed this week. Big part of the history, man. I remember myself just like, you know, my odds and end jobs as a high schooler, man. A lot of times in the car, like when I wanted to take that break from sports radio, I put on the old school noon at noon. You know what I mean? It's Mr. C rocking 12 o'clock. Mm. You know, he's always promoting club speed. Yeah, Mr. Mr. C had hits, man. Salute to him. Salute to everybody in the chat once again. Bro. Yeah. 57. Who's to everybody in the chat once again, man? Hit that thumbs up button for you, boy. CP and Alex on the ones and twos. Knicks are rolling. One more game left. One down, one to go. JD's in the chat. The 50 burger is alive and well as they get number 49 tonight, Al. They get number 49. What do you think? Well, uh, you know, we all made our predictions at the beginning of the season. You chose 48. Yes. So there we go. That's out the window. I'm, what do you uh, mean? I'm right there, man. If this was Price is Right, I'd be right in the mix. What'd you, well, I what'd chose you 49s. do? I 49s. I'm right there. You put 49? <laughs> I put 49. Oh, whatever, man. Oh, now you're upset. Oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go. There's, there's the upset CP, I know. <laughs> but look. But there, there is yeah. JD who is still in the wings, man. There is 50 right there. The 50 burger. Right there. But 50 burger. But I mean, look, it was a completely different uh, team. I think that's For even sure. more impressive that that they're still near the number. I- impressive that by a different team. Do you mean because there's no Randall? We didn't have Mitch, and we didn't have OG, or, or everything? Just a completely different team. Everything. Though? The injuries everything. and the trades. The injuries and the trades. It's big, but but goes back to your your uh, your take last night on the Brunson MVP thing. It's even more of a reason why. He should be up there. How many of those MVP candidates in that ladder had to deal with all that change? Not Jokic, not SGA, nope. not Luka nope. Doncic. Nope. None of them. None of those guys had to go through the season that the Knicks just had to go through to get to where they are. And they're game away from being in the second seed in the East. And what was it? NBA.com had Brunson at eight, and I'm like, Ridiculous. What are you doing? Which is ridiculous. Like, you have Giannis and Tatum ahead of him. I'm like, Let me pull it what up. are we doing, people? What What are we doing Let me pull putting it up. these guys ahead of him? He, especially Tatum, who has, like, the best team assembled. But, but, he barely has to do any work. But who's responsible for, for, for doing the ladder anyway? Is it one writer? Is it two writers? Is it a collection of writers? Like, who's even responsible for doing the MVP ladder on, M- on NBA.com? The final MVP ladder. Jokic, SGA, Doncic. I have no problems with any of those. Giannis... Bye. No, Jason Tatum. I'm putting I'm putting Brunson for. Tatum should even be up there, bro. Like, come on. If Tatum misses the game, they still got enough between Brown, Derek White, Drew Holiday, and KP to be doing work. So bonus, the Kings are a playing team right now. Or did they get to six? I got to look at the standings, but they they've nah, been a playing, playing team. team. They're a playing team. Ant Man, I I could see that. I would put Ant Man in my top five for sure. Brunson should be up there. Katie, no. Booker, no. Sorry. It's it's ridiculous how they we. It's like no one truly watches the Knicks, man. Like we're just going off name value yeah. at this point of like what a past performance and not what's happening this season. Yeah, which is insane. Which is insane that you know everyone's like, well, we really got to focus in on this year and what's happening this year. But yeah. yet you like everyone caters to like what happened last season. It even goes to like last year's MVP vote. It's like, yeah. oh, well, shouldn't we give it to Embiid because he should have won it last year? When's the next time he's going to win it? You know, Jokic hasn't won a final at all. It's like, everyone will give these excuses where it doesn't even include the regular season yeah, and the current regular season. If we're going by a current regular season, it's got to be Brunson, man. Like It's got to be. I, I don't know. Like, if anything, if you want to tell me that Jokic is the MVP just because if he's on that team, it, it collapses, I, I could hear you on that. And I wouldn't, I wouldn't argue that. But like to say that anybody else over Brunson, like outside, it's just tough, man. Just tough. yeah, you, 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 they, they're just not getting it, man. They're just not getting it. But it is what it is, man. We, as long as we know the real, 
That's all that matters. Well, that's why you come here, to get the real. Well said. Great take by you. That's that's a five-star take by you. That is why you come here to get the real. Number one show for the fans, by the fans. Look at this. We're, we're on somebody's TV here, man. Who's this? I'm on Twitter. I'm surfing Twitter. Just scrolling through Twitter. Shout out to Aiden Wilson now. He's got us on, 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 the, on the flat screen. Let's right? go. Right above the PS5. Nice. We're, we're, we're in the living room. Aiden, what video games are you playing? Let us know in the chat. <laughs> Salute, man. Now, he's a Packers fan, too, Al, so I don't, you know. You're a Jets guy. I don't, you know. I mean, yeah. we have Aaron Rodgers, which, depending mm-hmm. how you look at it, is either fortunate or unfortunate. Yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we will find out, won't we? We will find out. Oh, are we will find yeah, out. We will find out. I'm not oh, thinking man. about football season anytime soon yet. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out Ray Maribel. Ray Mirabel. Mirabel. Sorry. Five out super chats. As JD is at Costco getting the burgers and dogs. One win away from finally getting the 50 burger. JD, I want a double cheeseburger. Let's go. One more from the 50 burger, man. One more from the 50 burger. Salute to everybody in the chat once again. Salute to all of our franchise channel members, man. If you guys are a franchise channel member, and there are a lot of you, throw an emoji in the chat. Throw one of a, a CP Alex JD emoji, CK emoji in the chat. Let us know that you are in here rocking with us. TA Cowboy says big screen life. Yeah, absolutely, man. KFTV on the big screen, on the mobile, on the big screen, on the laptop. We're versatile, man. It's a very versatile show. It fits anywhere. You know what I mean? Tablet. Tablet. Whatever you want to do. You can see everything. We make sure you can see everything. You don't need your bifocals, man. You can see everything. The scores, everything. Graphics, highlights. Shout out to the team. Okay. Mike Jr., 1992 on the chat. Go ahead and I'll mute your mic. Mike Jr. What up? What up? Yo, what's good, man? Ain't nothing. Ain't nothing. <laughs> happy for fun now. I'm happy for the next, man. Okay. Likewise, man. Likewise. They're looking good, man. Yeah, I'll look good. I'm new here right now. I'm new here to the channel. Okay, welcome to the show, man. Welcome to the show, man. How, how'd you find KFTV, man? It's pretty good. I mean, your channel's pretty good. Appreciate it, man. We're, we're glad you approve, sir. Thank you. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you. Yeah, no Shout problem. Out to guys. Oh, shout out to the guys who did a theme song for New York Knicks called Blue and Orange Everything. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's still my joint, man. Shout out to our guy, Scott, holding it down for us between uh, New York and Atlanta. Right. Shout out to our guy, Scott, right. man. We got to get him some merch, too, man. Shout out to our guy, Scott Zoo, man. Appreciate right. the call. call the back. Is, is, I'm, just, I'm just checking in and see what's up. That's yeah. All. Hey, call back anytime, man. There's no more show for the fans by the fans. Right. This, this is why we're here, man. Call us up, man. You know? If you just want to talk about the game, you just want to chat. Whatever it is, man. We here, man. It's Friday night. We chilling, man. I thought he was about to ask your favorite color for a second. Nah, he, you know, he just came to show love, man. You know? And big up Sky. Big up our guy Sky Zoo, man. So, for sure, for sure. Yeah. Speaking of playoff merch, man, get your playoff merch at shop.nixfantv.com, man. Get your playoff merch. New York versus the world is flying off the shelves. I'll tell you how it is right now. The snaps are almost done. The snaps are almost done. So if you wanted to get a New York versus the world snap, I would suggest you get your orders in soon. But shout out to everybody that's been uh, that that's been copping their merch, man. Appreciate it. Uh, shout out to Do Things, uh, my guy Do. I'm about to text you back right now. Uh, says salute to my pops, salute to my guys. JD, if we get a 50 burger, you better come with the chef outfit game one. Alex, I'm in the KFTV Call of Duty president. I'm in there game one. Let's go, dude. Yeah, we in there mm. game one, man. So definitely hit me up. And shout out to Rhyme Animal Chuck D. Alex. $10 super chats. It's ESPN and TNT predictions. Struck out all NBA season. By the way, the tournament seemed like 200 years ago. It's wake-up time now. My guy Burks looked like he needed a tennis racket out there. Man, let's go shake. Yeah, Burks got some minutes tonight, man. Got, got some minutes tonight. Uh, 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 how do you feel about that, CP? Um, I mean, I didn't really care, to be honest with you. Uh, you know, <laughs> I really didn't like <laughs> You know, he came in, he jacked up a three, he we, hit it. We're on to your crazy tricks over here, right? The, the social the social aspect of always hyping up Burks for every bucket that he makes, man. I mean, listen. Shameless. Listen, I'm not the one that signed off on the deal. I just told you the deal was coming. That's it. You got a problem, you got a problem with Burks, right? Send Leon Rosa kite, man. 
I'm gonna send you. I'm gonna send you a letter. <laughs> send, You're the one that was promoted. This guy. Write, write a letter to Leon Rose and then, man. No, 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 no. We're not getting through. Whoa, 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 hold on. Yeah. We're not forgetting the. Ho, oh, you know who what? we need? Yeah. Alec Burks. Yeah. Yo. Yo. Yo, CP, Alice, what's the word? What's good, man? Yo, we we. You you just walked into the crib, man. We ain't even we ain't even <laughs> you ain't even ring the doorbell. You ain't knocking the door. Who? What's your name? Where you calling in from, my man? Hey, like you gotta hey, announce yourself, bad, man. You just walked into the house, bro. My first time calling. Man. Okay, we were this, we this, weren't this, expecting this, you. Hey, new member. You know what it is? It's Interrail Johnson Jr. Okay. You know, uh, been been following you guys for a second. Has been able to become a member and shit though. I mean, family show, my bad. Okay, my yeah, bad. you're 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 a member, man. We'll let that one slide, but it is a family show, man. Friday night though. Let's go. All right, let's go. So yeah, Knicks, my Knicks, man. They looking they they looking real good right now. You feel yeah. me? Yes. So I'm saying though, this Julius Randle thing. I'm not no Julius Randle hater. You know, I don't want no tomatoes and then like that. I'm not a Julius mm-hmm. Julius Randle hater, but. In the same token, mm-hmm. I feel like if we was to really maximize Jalen Brunson potential, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. something got to give. Something got to give. Either Julius going to remain, you know, healthy and actually show up mm-hmm. for us in the playoffs, or we're going to have to do something different. That's how I'm feeling about Julius Randle. I love everything he did for the Knicks. He put his back on the map. You hear me? But yeah. in the same token, I feel like basketball is a business, man. Yeah. It's a business. And we hey, we we trying to go out here and ring rings, man. We ain't trying yeah. to constantly be the be be the ringless Knicks for twenty years. Come yeah. on now, man. So so I'm so do you, so do you think this team is any closer to that without Julius? Is that what you're saying? I feel like I'm gonna be honest with you. No, I do not feel like we closer without Julius, but if we was to get rid of Julius and add a different piece, you hear me? I don't name, know who the name. piece is. It could it could be anybody. Mm, no, but I feel no, like somebody no, that's going to no, show no, up in no, the playoffs, no, 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 no. and somebody that's actually going to show up to play. I'm not saying Julius don't want to play, but come on now, this this what second second year in a row that he got yeah. hurt right before the playoffs. Yeah, like you, yeah. like you, you gotta, you gotta do something. You gotta do something in order to maintain your body for the playoffs, bro. Yeah, I mean, I hear you, man. I hear you, and, and welcome to the show, man. But they are making ketchup out of you in the chat right now. You didn't, you did not make a solid debut, man. You didn't make hey, a solid debut. Hey, man. hey, I'm gonna be honest with you. They, they. Hey, they they got to stay up out of fantasy land, man. Basketball is a business. Okay. I love the Knicks. Let's go. Where, I, I where you from, man? Where you from, Memphis? Nah, I'm, I'm from St. Louis. Okay. Oh, you from the Louvre. Okay, okay. Shout yeah, out to my yeah, guy, yeah, Jay. I'm from St. Louis. That's what's up. But rapid fire. Yeah. Appreciate you guys. I'm going to be calling in a lot more. Hey, I wish all for Julius. I hope Julius, you know, come back next year stronger, better. And I eat my words, you feel me? But okay. if he come back on the same old stuff, hey, we got to ship him out of there. Okay. All right, man. Call back uh, anytime, man. Good to hear from you, man. Yes, sir. That's our guy, Say Less King 94. So, all right, let's, let's unpack this a little bit. So, he's a franchise shadow member from St. Louis. He was in the members' the lounge. He's from the middle of the map. He was in the members' lounge. Walked into the crib, didn't announce didn't himself, <laughs> didn't didn't wipe his feet at the door, but he said, "Yo, I'm a member." So you know, he he showed the member card and just walked into the VIP like, "Yo, I'm in here." <laughs> you know what I mean? Drank drank from the bottle and, and just started started going. But it's, it's it's he did not he did not set a good tone for himself. The chat is going crazy. Uh, there's a lot of tomatoes flying right now. But you know his comeback was like the chat is playing fantasy is is playing fantasy basketball, but he never gave us the Julius replacement. All he said was Just any name, anybody. Any names, he you? said it anybody. replace it with anybody. That doesn't work like that. No, it don't yeah, work like that. Say less. Nick Claxton. <laughs> the Julius trade is a difficult trade, just in terms of where the Knicks are trying to go, and how they're going to try to get there. The unfortunate thing is that. 
it's another postseason where you, you, you're going to be left questioning what if. Yes, the Knicks can still go on a good run. They can still have a great make a, make a good run out of it, and we're looking forward to it because Brunson is that great, and and Hart at his peak is going to be good, and, and, and DiVincenzo. You know, if they all play up to their potential, then this team can go on a run. Mm-hmm. But it's not enough. They're going to need more. And, you know, the unfortunate thing is you're just not going to know what Randall can bring you. And his replacement is TBD. Now you got people bringing the town stuff up back again. I have no idea why. To me, that's ah. not it. Mm-hmm. I don't. I don't see this Knicks team swapping those two. And so, yeah, I don't know. I, I think it's a difficult situation. And then you got to talk about contract extensions too. But that's that's off season, man. That's next year. Can we please stop with the Carl Anthony Towns and Kyle Kuzma? That we don't Oof. need any of those guys. Whoa. None of those guys. Yeah. But yeah. Like, I, I don't know. Like, the it's tough to. I don't really want to talk about trades because we're in the midst of going to the playoffs. But like, can we give Julius some respect, man? Like, <laughs> like it feels like we're not giving this guy any respect. And I know we could be critical of him because of his past playoff performance or lack thereof. But like this season, he was on one. Man's injured. He got injured playing. Like it's not it's not his fault that he gets injured. Yeah. Like what? He, he plays most of the games. He gets injured. I, I'm not put, putting that blame on him that he's missing another playoffs due to injury. He plays tough. He plays a physical brand of basketball. It's like let's let's ease off at this point, all right? And to replace a guy who, what? Where would you put him? Top thirty? Top thirty for the what first type sure. of production? Yeah. So that means if you're gonna replace him, you want somebody that's gonna be Better than him. Not easy to go get somebody top 25, top 10, top... Like, th- it's not easy to go make that type of trade. I mean, we just saw it with, like, Donovan Mitchell, man. It's not easy. It's not an easy trade to go make. It's not an easy trade to go get someone like Damian Lillard. You see what you're offering. Yeah. And then sometimes what we've seen from these trades is that you go for a name and it doesn't really fit. doesn't really fit. And it looks fit. like you take a step backwards instead of a step forwards, and then you got to figure things out, and then... Yeah. Your star gets older, and now are you wasting time, right? So those type of trades are difficult to make. I'm not even thinking about the trade right now. I'm not thinking about playoffs. Yeah, that's it, man. I, I don't, you know, he's he went on under, under the knife. He's recovering. Just let Julius do what he's doing, man. You know, just let Julius do what he's doing. I, I don't see why, uh, you know, I don't see why we have to bring him up in this just like the, it's just like the mellow comparison. Like, just enjoy what we have right now. See how far they can go, and then worry. Let next year take care of itself. We got a whole off season to talk about that. You know what I mean? Got a whole off season to talk about trades and free agency and all of that. I get it though. Everyone wants to know. Like, it's just like anything in life, man. Like, we always want to know the future. What's the next step? What's going to happen afterwards? We're, we're in this. We're in this phase where it's like. You know, the Knicks are good, but it's like, how close are we to that next step? You know, you watch all these other teams. Like, you can watch Boston. You can watch Philly. Philly had Ben Simmons, Joel Embiid. You're like, oh, that's the championship team. And the next thing you know, Ben Simmons ain't it, right? You look at Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown and all the, the, the different phases of the, that team has, and there's still questions on whether or not they can make the finals this year. And so, as a fan base, I totally get that. You, We want to know when is it, like, here. When are we there competing for a championship and we can – say this is our team that we're going to have for, you know, however many years to go win a title. I get that. But let's take a step at a time, man. Let's take it, you know, one season. Yeah. Let's go through the next level of progression. And let's watch what Brunson and the rest of this team can do without Randall right now. Star-driven league, man. Like, don't – just star-driven league. It's great to be happy about regular season wins and where they are. It's a star-driven league. And I'm not saying that it's Julius that is that second star that they need. But they need more. And they're gonna need more. Or else, like I said, you're gonna have you're gonna have Brunson in, in the using the Patrick Ewing uh memorial ice bags <laughs> in just a few years. You know, you know you don't want that. Towels, ice bags. Everything. Everything. It's impressive. He's uh, I, he's played seventy plus games this season. Yeah, yeah. That's great, man. Shout out to Ryan Animal Chuck DL. Uh, franchise Shadow Member says Julius helping recruit 
Brunson in Dallas made me feel great about Julius being with him. A uh, future complimentary teammate for years to come. They fit. We shall see, man. I'm not so sure if it's years to come because when contract time comes, that's that's a uh, that's another conversation. You know. But yeah, like, like you said, we'll, we'll, we'll let the off season, let the Julius talk. Take care of itself in the off season. Is Ben Simmons still in the league? Oh Lord, Ben Simmons. Was he on the bench tonight? I didn't. I didn't. I didn't look. Was I, he on the bench I, tonight? I don't know. I saw that report saying that the Nets still have faith in Ben Simmons that he can turn it around. It's funny Good because luck. I have a bridge in Brooklyn that I could sell them to. Good luck. Good luck. Seku, Seku on the Discord. Seku, Seku, are you there? All right, Seku going once. Okay, don't have Seku. All right, well, uh, let's see who we got on the phone. Oh, the phones are rocking tonight. All right, 646, what's your name? Where are you calling in from? 646, hello, hello. All right. No, okay, I'm not hearing you. I'm making sure the phones are good. 860, what's your name? Where are you calling in from? Hey, guys, this is Louie from Jacksonville. How y'all Louis, doing tonight? Louie, how are you, man? Just the man I wanted to hear from. What's good? Uh, life is great with being a Nick fan. Life yeah. is great. Loving the way they're doing this. Um, you know, it's nice being uh, tied with... Uh, the Bucks now with the same 49 wins mm-hmm. and up a game on the Cavs with their 48 wins, two games up on Orlando who beat us on the series. They are out of the picture. We took care of the Cavs. They are out of the picture. And all we got to do is just watch the Milwaukee Bucks just fold like yeah. paper. Yeah. They're, they're on their way, man. Who do you want to see in the playoffs, Louis? Yeah, Bay? Who do you want to see in the first round, man? I think the Knicks are going to wind up playing probably the Pelicans. So um, they play who? Sorry. I think they're going to wind up playing not the Pelicans. Excuse me, Pacers. Okay. Okay. I think that's going to be a good Scared matchup. For a second. I mean, the Knicks win. Yeah. You know they'll be in second place. That that's easy going to fall. Yeah. Unfortunately, you know the the Cavs got their series over the Bucks, so if they tie up, then we'll drop to four. If we all, you know, if they lose, but if Knicks take care of their own business, everything will be sweet. So, okay. you know, I'm loving the, the way the Knicks are playing. I'm loving, you know, that OG's finally back, looking the way he was, we playing and destroying everybody. We hit him on the court. Um, the ability for OG to take one score out of the game and Hart to take the other score out of the game is going to make a significant impact. I'm just so wishing that um, when Sims gets into the game that he – he plays a little better. I mean, sometimes I'm just amazed yeah. how he just he, I mean, but Sims, off, Sims off on pick and roll. Yeah, I mean, he's not even going to play. Um, Sims is not going to play in the postseason, yeah. you know? Yeah. All right, man. I, I want everybody to play. Okay. I want everybody to be able to play, feel healthy, and this way, if God forbid something happens, we got somebody there. Yeah. No, I mean, it, it's fair, but, you know, reality is, you know, it's a limited rotation, so. Um, Sims had to come in because it was necessary, but uh, I wouldn't expect much. Uh, you, you have Mitch, you have Hartenstein, Mitch, Precious. Those are going to be, um, you know, your, your big man rotation there. And Sims is probably fourth. What do you What do you think there, Al? Sims is not. I don't see Sims playing in this playoffs unless something catastrophic happens. Yeah, but. You know, Sims is still young. He's still trying to learn. I mean, in isolation, he looks better than in pick and roll. I mean, tonight we saw that. He just looks confused to, like, how to play drop coverage. Yeah. But, you know, he's still a young player, has ways to learn. But that's why he's, you know, that's why they went out and got Precious. That's why Tibbs has played Precious over Sims. Mm -hmm. So the front court is set. But, well, Tibbs is going to go to an eight-man rotation. Yeah. We... We got that glimpse early this week against the Bucks. We saw that against the Celtics. Like, guys will play if needed based on the situation, but I'm looking for this rotation to be eight. Like, I'll say nine, but whoever's the ninth guy is getting, like, 
five, ten minutes. Yeah. There, there it is, man. True indeed. Uh, right now, Knicks have a, a 71% chance at finishing um, in the third seed, 17% chance at finishing in the second seed, according mm. to uh, the probabilities report. I'm taking for what it is. Take it for what it is. Shout out Mac Mac, man. $20 super chat from Mac Mac says we will finish uh, 49 50 for the season. 49 says 50 wins for the season. Can you imagine where we would be if Juju didn't get injured? Conversation will be different fighting for number one instead of two. Rotten tomato of the day for the Juju haters. Okay, so Julie's hype. You, you knew they were going to, you know, they were not going to be too happy with my man from the loop kind of kind of trying to throw Julius out the door. With the car moving. You know what I'm saying? We're moving right now. We're moving into the playoffs. And, you know, now's our time. Jewel, Jewel, he's, he, he's, he's on the mend right now. Just let him get back to it, and we'll see what happens next year. Better luck next year. I'm surprised Robert Randolph didn't, uh, you know, come through with a super chat it, at this point. It, yeah, it is Friday night. Where's the double R at? Where, where is double R, man? It's Friday night, you know? It's his night. Hmm, he's probably sipping a, you know, Mad Dog 2020 somewhere. Steel Reserve. He'll, he'll, that or trying he'll, to learn how to use a phone. Yeah, he's he's trying. He's still trying to figure out the Discord. <laughs> <laughs> where is Sergeant Sources? Sergeant Sources, are you with us? Like right. Carmen San Diego. Where in the world yeah. is Sergeant Sources? Yeah, you knew about that show. I know about that man. show. Of course, I knew about that show. It's good. Good job, man. Good job. Play the computer game too. Yeah, it was a good show after school, man. You know. Yeah. So it was a way to, for you to continue your learning. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. You know what else is a good show after school? Yeah. Captain Planet. Yeah, I'm sorry. Ah, oh, this guy didn't like his environment. Oh. It was a little too, like, eat your vegetables type of thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, get out of here, man. Like, turn on the X-Men, bro. Like, what, what are you talking about, man? <laughs> We're going to recycle today. I'm like, yo, come on, man. Get out of here, bro. Come on, man! You knew you had that, and then GI Joe was followed by. I was, I wasn't really a big Captain Planet guy. It was a, it was a little too like, you know, too granola for you. Yeah, it was a little too, you know, cookie cutter. I wasn't into Captain Planet like that. How about you guys in the chat? Were you guys Captain Planet though? I wasn't Captain Planet guy like that, man. Rod Diamond says no to Captain Planet. Mm. X-Men 97 No spoilers I still gotta catch up On like episodes 3 and 4 Every time I keep watching 3 I keep falling asleep So I, I gotta catch up after this I, I can see CP being the villain In Captain <laughs> <laughs> It wasn't enough Like you know the, the, the plots just weren't Like diabolical enough for me You know What do you want Thundercats on all the time <laughs> Yeah like It just It, it just wasn't Captain He-Man Man. You know what I'm Is saying Is that what you wanted he man, oh, he I know what you spot. wanted. I know what he you man wanted. Spot. Yeah. SWAT cats. What? SWAT cats? What was SWAT cats? What do you mean? What? Oh yo, my what, god! Yo, what cartoons are you watching, my man? What? What, what, are you what channels are you watching? What is SWAT cats? Bro, how do you not? It's like Street Sharks. You didn't watch that either. I I do remember Street Sharks. Or sewer? It was no no no. Sewer Shark was uh was a Sega was a Sega CD game. Am I am I bugging? Or is, SWAT, is SWAT Cats was SWAT Cats a real cartoon? SWAT Cats was a real cartoon, my man. What are we talking about here? People in the chat, what's going on, man? We need we need somebody to to referee this thing. Was SWAT Cats a real thing? Or am I bugging out? There you go. Rare edition saying SWAT Cats. Oh my god. Yeah. He said SWAT Meaning, Cats was okay. Okay. Then. What? Never heard of SWAT Cat. What? What channel was this on? Cartoon Network. What are now, we yeah, doing see, over see, here? I, see, that was after me, man. I was already, I was already, I wasn't cartoon, I wasn't a Cartoon Network guy. I wasn't a Cartoon Network guy. That's why, yeah, you bringing up all these joints. I don't know. I don't know these things. You know what I'm saying? By the time, did like, you Cartoon Voltron? Network. Did you, did you watch Voltron at least? Yeah, for like, but you know, by the time the Cartoon Network stuff, I was, I was on Monday Night Raw, man. You know what I'm saying? Mm. That, that was my <laughs> era. You know? Mm. Wow, five years really makes that much of a difference, huh? Yeah, absolutely. That's a big difference. That's a generation. Who's that on the Discord? Somebody's on the Discord with like a diabolical laugh. Who's that? Jordan Sherrard. You're too old, CP. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fact. 
So somebody was <laughs> somebody was just laughing somewhere. I, I'm totally not under control with the uh, show tonight. There we go. Who, who People on the, the chat are, 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 are got, got my back about Squadcast. Thank you. Yeah, that was after me, man. That was after me. Y'all got it. Hello? Yes, yes. Who is this? Y'all can hear me? Yes, South, South New Jersey Knicks fan. How you doing? I'm doing good. I'm going to date my age a little bit, yeah. and I'm going to say Star Blazers because that was the first anime. So, mm. you know. Okay. I, I Yeah, yeah, that and then probably – um. You know the one with the the cars that um, that that convert whatever transformers 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 yes <laughs> so Star Blazers and Transformers that was my generation so you know but what do I know, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so so you but don't anyhow. know you don't know anything about SWAT cats either you with me then. I, I know about it because I got I had you know nieces and nephews of okay. that age. There you, you know. go. There so you go. So because of that, yeah. But yeah. my 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 kids are little, so that's not even their generation. So. Okay, I got you. Got you. Got you. Got you. So, right. so I was just calling in. Um, I feel spoiled, fellas, because mm. I remember a few years ago when I'm watching a game with my daughter, who was five at the time, and the Knicks were getting blown out by forty points. Yeah. And she comes to me and she sits next to me, watches the entire game. She comes to me, puts her hand on my shoulder. And she's like, Daddy, it's okay. Because mm. I have my head in my, I have my, my uh, head in my hands and I'm depressed and I'm like, man. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. And I'm like, do I really want to introduce this to my daughter? And so now, fast forward to today, you know, uh, Brunson has 30 and 11. I'm like, oh, that's kind of an off night. Well, mm -hmm. you know, you're a great player when you can have an off night and go 30 and 11 <laughs> and, and I'm starting to feel spoiled yeah. now because we all remember the days of when ISO Zoe was our best scorer, right? <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah. Boy, that was and, so... and Damon and da Damian Dotson was a, yeah. like our, our, our top shooter. Uh, bro, you know? that, was, that was when I started this show. What the hell was I talking about every night for 82 games? I don't even yeah, know. And then I got to go back into we the were archives. Talking about, there was, um, <laughs> yeah. What's his name? Um, you know, we were always hyping up these guys that were like, oh, they're going to be the next great point guard. And yeah, nobody yeah. would ever, you know, turn out to be that way. So I'm, we're, we're in a sphere right now where I'm just so happy as a Knicks fan. Yeah. You know, my pops who's much older than me. He's like, like, I just want to see one before I pass. I just want to see one before yeah. I pass, you know? Yeah. And, you know, I know a lot of older cats, like even older than me, they're like, man, we, can we just get one, just get yeah. one before we go? And I, I, fellas, I, I'm, I'm, I'm just so elated. I can't even words, I can't describe how happy mm. I am to see my Knicks finally being relevant and, and finally not being the butt of jokes of people. So yeah. I take your comments. Thank you. There you go, man. Man, just, you know, just enjoy it. it it's, it's our time, you know? It, it's our time. Uh it, it's been uh, – Brunson's taking this team on a wild ride, and the fan base as well. Uh, and like I said, I feel your pain. I was I was starting this show. I got to go back into the archives and see what How we were talking about. How many people were calling in when you were talking about the, that that team? A lot, because a lot a lot of people, you know, they were hives, the ISOZO hive. Oh, we could pull up some classic Ari joints about how ISOZO is like the second coming of, like, Gilbert Arenas. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Yeah, it was them type of things. We we were highly delusional and but and dysfunctional. He but did go to Arizona. He did, he did. But that's why you know we're the greatest fan base in sports because we supported these guys. Some of the, somebody in the chat was asking, "Where is Isozo?" Well, this is his IG, and I don't know. Looks like he hasn't been on since twenty twenty one. Wow. Yeah, so Isozo kind of, oh uh, yeah, he just kind of dipped off into the abyss, man. 2020s. Here he is walking through the garden, man. Yeah, anybody here from Iso Zoe? His mom and his aunt used to call on the show every, you know. They were like, you know, when I tell you the families watched the show, like they were the originals. Mm, look at that. Yeah, I, yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know. Iso Zoe, this is the last time, man. 2021. And he's a young kid, you know. And usually these guys are on the gram, you know. They're, they're doing their thing and. I had a lot of hope for Isozo, man, yeah. just because he could score. He was a good scorer for a defense. Yeah. But I felt like he could have, you know, there was some good coaching and stuff yeah. of that nature. Could have helped. Yeah, he hasn't He's he hasn't been on since in three years, man. Damn. Yeah. If anybody heard from Hope o as well, man. I don't, you know, I don't know if he's hooping overseas. That's why I was looking at his Instagram to see if, like, you know, he's in Turkey or something. But, yeah, no, nothing, man. 
ISO was getting buckets. Yeah. What are you pulling up highlights of ISO zone now? No, nah, I uh, you know I I just pulled up the, his gram just to see you know, but then then you know he's got some old Nick pictures here. I saw used to get he used to get it popping, bro. He did, bro. He was he was, he could create his own shot. Yeah, I saw was a bucket, man. I I felt like I think like KD bigged him up uh, one time. He did. He did, did he? He did. Yeah. He did. Let me see. I might have some old ISO highlights on my computer still. <laughs> the battle. <laughs> what highs were battling then? ISO's against yeah. Frank Nilakina's. <laughs> oh my goodness! Look at what I got. Look at what I got. You see what I be telling you? I got like no space in my computer. It's because I got old highlights of like ISO Zo on my computer, man. Let's, mm. see, let's see what we got on here. Here we go. House of Highlights presents. This is even like an old overlay by House of Highlights. Knicks versus Nets. I don't know what date this is. NBA preseason basketball at the Barclays Center. I think this is an ISOZO highlight tape right now. Here we go. Let's let's watch as a family. Oh, here's Lance Thomas. Who's lacing up the kicks right now? Emmanuel Moutier. Kevin Knox. The old, oh, look at that. Ron Bacon, a shot maker. A young Mitch and his canter. Mario Hazonia, Super Mario. Oh, my God. Like Mario an ISO. Hazonia. ISO from three. Oh, pull up from the elbow. Let's go. And one. Let's go. You got Frank on the court with the frosted tips. Here we go. ISO. Ooh, pump fake from the elbow at the buzzer. Let's go. ISO on the drive. Off the curl to Mitch. Block Nest Monster. Let's go with the lay-in. Who did the Nets have on the team here? This was this this was <laughs> Joe Harris. There's uh, Ed Davis. There had to be D'Angelo Russell on this team. Too. There's Jared Dudley. Look at this. Flashback Friday, live and direct. Who's that? Iso. Oh. Ooh, off the curl. Nice laying on two nets. Iso pick from Canna. Here he goes down the middle. Step back. Got him. Ooh. Whoa. Let's go. Alonzo Trier. Would not be denied. Here he is in transition. Ooh. Oh, my goodness. Let's go. Through the CT's legs. doing play-by-play -play for an <laughs> old highlight. Here we go. We are really in our bag tonight. Through the legs and the foul off the glass. Isozo, baby. Here he goes again. Oh, my God. One-on-one. -on -one. Can't stop him. Pull up. Yo, this is like Cam Thomas right here. This is like Cam Thomas right here. Yeah, this is why we were hyped. Uh. Little in and out, free throw line, got him mid range. I don't know, man. Some something something had to go down politically for this kid not to be in the league. Like for sure, so, something for sure. Bro, he has talent. You're telling me that this couldn't? <laughs> hey, come on, he could score. Oh, who not got many that? People could do this. Who got that block right there? Was that Mitch? Iso on the attack. There we go. And one, yo, he drew like four and ones in this game. Who was that? Oh, that was Frank with the block. Get that out of there. To ISO in transition. Scoop off the glass. Jared Dudley, get out of here. Oh, my God. Noah Vonley on the bench. Noah Vonley oh, on the bench. Lord. Good Lord, man. ISO, let's cook. Uh, <laughs> there we go. Coach Fizz. Coach Fizz, what we doing? Together. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm about to <laughs> All right, man. There we go. That was a uh, live play-by-play -play reaction of Alonjo Trier. We took it back to the dark days, people. Wasn't that fun, Al? <laughs> I'm so happy where we are now. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Oh, my god. There we go, man. You know? Appreciating the the, uh, the old days. Took me back, man. T took me back. Look how happy you are, CP. Bro, I, I'm, yeah. I'm pretty sure I did a legit... This was probably me three, four years ago doing a legitimate show and reaction to this. It's saying how much promise this kid has for this. Yes. What was it? That was the 17-win season, was I wasn't it even, I wasn't even thinking about Brunson right at that point, man. We weren't even thinking about JB. It was ISO Zo show. 17-win oh season. You're telling you're telling yourself Brunson, like I was probably saying that you can see Zoe, not Brunson. Iso Zoe could be a good sixth man coming off the bench. 
Yeah. So you're thinking, you're like, hey, yeah. he's got some promise. This is what we were doing back in, two, back in 2021. <laughs> no, this was before that. It had to be like, no, this was like 2016. What am I talking about? That's, right? a 27, that's 2017. 2017. Right? Is that 2017? Uh, yeah, was, because that was that was, was, that Kevin, was, uh, was Kevin Knox. Knox was before RJ. He was he was 17. Knox and Mitch, right? Mitch is the elder statesman. Well, let's see. Hold on. We had or is it 18? So RJ was 2019. So that was 2018. That was a 2018-19 season, was it not? Because that's the about, year we got Knox. Yeah, about about 2018-19, 17 wins. Yeah. Ugh. Good God. Good times. Good times, man. Good times, he says. I remember, I remember being in Tennessee, getting ready to go watch my Jets play the Tennessee Titans. Sam Darnold could not play. We had Josh McCown. Well, what was wow. I doing the night before? On my phone, the TV could not could not sync my phone to the TV in the room. Me and my boys were watching on my phone. Kevin Knox go off against the Milwaukee Bucks yeah. and win. Yeah. Shout out to our guy, Corner Kev, man. ISO walked so Cam could run. And that was December, too, where he won, uh, what was it, Rookie of the Month. Yeah. Oh, man. Remember when he won Rookie of the Month when he bashed on Ben Simmons and them? Mm -hmm. And the Sixes? Yep. I probably got that in the archives, too, but I, I, I won't kill the people tonight. We want to enjoy We want to enjoy Please, this no. win. 111, 111-107, <laughs> Knicks beat the Nets. But that was a little flashback Friday, Nixon Nets action at the Barclays Center at the Clays. Flashback Friday. Oh, oh, yeah. that's a real. Here you go. Flashback Fridays. <laughs> we should, yeah, maybe we should do that. We should do flashback Friday segments, man. Let's take it back to the dark days when we were long suffering Knicks fans. I like that segment. Good job. Thanks for the reference. General Torre. Fight out Super Chat franchise channel member says you can tell that life is good as a Knicks fan anytime we can reminisce about Isozo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to uh, the Bacano 10 out Super Chat says CP your club speed uh, Reference earlier brought me back To when I was 14 in the early 2000s T night Wednesdays The club used to be as lit as Brunson's burner Let's go Knicks Yeah club speed used to pop It's a good days man There's no more clubs Clubs are done man The, the, the kids these days will never know Uh the New York club scene back in the back in the day, man. Okay, three zero five. What's your name? Where are you calling in from? Hello. Yes. Yes. Hello. How are you? Uh, hello. Yes, we are here. Hey, yes. what's going on? It's Danny. I'm calling from Miami. Okay, but I'm from the Bronx. Salute, Danny. How you feeling, man? So, feeling good. Feeling good. Feeling overall good about were, the season. Were you Were you with honestly, us? The... Were you with us when we pulled up to Miami last week? I was not. Unfortunately, I was doing some work, but I do. We we I, we have spoke before. I was going to tell you that that um, that suite in the garden, a couple months back. Okay. Okay. No problem. No problem. Yeah. So definitely, um, I'm 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 overall happy with the season, but that the unsolicited um, Julius slander needs to stop. Mm. And honestly, we we really don't appreciate the fact that this man chose New York when he could have chose a bunch of different destinations. He was having yeah. a career year. And he came to New York and became an All NBA player. You know what I'm saying? So when you when you factor that with the fact that we were the laughing stock of the league, and then we land a free agent, it's only because of Julius that um, Jalen Brunson is playing on the Knicks right now. Yeah, like this is a, this is the destination to be because Julius put the work into the organization and made it what it was. So I don't know. I feel like I feel like the Julius Randall Slander needs to stop. Let's see how far yeah. we go this year in the playoffs. I was looking at some trades on Twitter and they were just absolutely nasty. Like Randall and Randall and um, Randall and OG for for Giannis, and I was just I, I closed my Twitter. I'm like, you know, let's finish out the season, let's see how far we go, and let's take it from there. Yeah, no, definitely not doing that. Would I trade Julius for Giannis? Yeah, in a heartbeat, in a New York minute. But if we include OG of in course. it? No, I wouldn't do that. <clears throat> no, I, I wouldn't do that, man. You know. But honestly, salute salute to the Knicks fan TV. Uh, throw a thumbs up, like, share, subscribe, all that. Yes, sir. Appreciate the call, man. Call back anytime, man. All right. Appreciate the call, man. All right, let's um drop him off. <clears throat> Someone in the chat, Shavor CV said, you know, fans are ungrateful. Al, what what do you think about that? 
Fans are ungrateful. Fans. A lot, a lot of fans like like um, the brother here that just called say the same thing. Like you know, you know, Julius came here and and you know was part of the culture building. What do you think about that? <clears throat> I think there's a I think there's a line that needs to be told. And it's it's gone from like the reality is I understand the frustration that he hasn't performed in the playoffs. But we also got to give him respect for the work that he's put in and helping the Knicks be a top team too, right? Yeah. But I th- to me, it sometimes goes over the top in the Randall bashing where it's like the man's not even playing and we're talking about trading him. It's like he was having one of his best seasons playing the style of basketball that we wanted him to see. Like, can we give the man some grace? Yeah. To me, it, it just gets over the top at times where, especially where he's not playing right now, Talk about him just getting surgery. Like, it's not like last year where you're watching him play. We had the gripe where it was not a lot of effort in the playoffs. Some will say, well, you know, he, he had the ankle injury, so he couldn't play at 110%. To me, it's like, I'd still like to see you play tougher, you know, while you're out there on the court. If you're good to play, I'm expecting you to play. But I get it that you can say, hey, all this and all this stuff, like, make make the adjustments for an injury but he's not playing right now so yeah. just think, I think you just gotta cool it i honestly see both sides i see both sides to the argument like yes you can say he was he was part of the start of of the culture and all of that you could say that he was a consolation prize for the Knicks, man he was like plan c the Knicks had uh, no other options. Not sure what his options were. You know, obviously when the Pelicans went with the number one pick and got Zion, like he said it yeah, on the pod, he was, he was cooked. There. He was done. Right? Mm-hmm. So both team, both sides kind of needed each other at that point. The Knicks were desperate to save face after they completely botched the whole KD Kyrie thing. Not necessarily botched, but they didn't get it. Right? So they got mm-hmm. Julius. So, yes, you could you can give him the credit. And give him the credit for for putting in the work. No one questions that. He always puts in the work in the offseason. You can never question his work ethic. He's always in there, and he's trying to win. But I can also see the other side where it's like, look, you're going into a third postseason where he's either ineffective or you don't have him at all. And you can legitimately question, is he impeding this team's, you know, potential by not being available or being ineffective? It's a business. I can give him all his flowers and say thanks for coming and thanks for starting the culture after he retires and comes back. What's Nick owes Nick certainly applies to Julius. Chuck said it. He's going to be one of the best Knicks ever for sure, and the bar is lower. But you still got to win. Still got to win. So I, that's why I say I can see both sides of it. Yeah, at this point, like I get, like I get the playoff performance thing. I get all that. He needs to perform. He needs to show up. Uh, he needs to be available. I wholeheartedly agree with that. I think where it's like, uh, well, you know, where the two sides were. Well, we, as you said, we're both each other's consolation prize at that point, right? It was like Randall for the Knicks, Knicks for the Knicks for Randall. But at the end of the day, he has helped this team be better. Like you can't, we cannot yeah. deny that. And because of that, there has to be a level of respect in saying, you know what, in, in in a way, even though we didn't get KD and Kyrie, looks better for us at this point because those guys are not even playing on the Nets anymore. Those guys are on two totally different teams. Yeah. KD, that Suns team is okay. Maz are better. But the fact that Randall and Brunson have been went on the court together, especially in that in the month of January, you could see what could be a solid dynamic duo, you got to say, hey, he's put in the work. He performs, especially during the regular season. He plays a lot of games when he's available for the most part. Obviously, you're talking about two injuries these past two years, so there's some concern there. Uh, You got to give him respect for that. At the end of the day, he has to perform in the playoffs. I understand that, but I just feel like at at, at what, like, it's that next season for me would be like, if he misses another postseason, that's where it's a little bit more irritating than it's like right now I could be like, okay, like what, what can you do? Injuries are not planned. Right. Yeah. 
ish happens. Yeah. So yeah. I can't I can't blame him for that. Yeah. But if it's another season, it's not really blaming him, but it's like, yo, we need a guy who's also there because we can't just leave it all to Bronson. And if it's because, you know, whatever the reason may be at that point, that you got to go figure out how you go get help for Brunson because he needs another score, that's a different conversation. But I just feel like when we talk about Randall, sometimes it goes also outside of the game of basketball and it goes attacking who he is as a person. That's where it's like, for me, it gets too far. Like, I don't know. I feel like that happens to him more so than other players. On the next Mac Mac fight out super chat says now nah, CP in your voice call back anytime you're tripping bully ball Jew is a beast and we needed him I'm not saying that we don't need him all I'm saying is it's a business and 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 GMs and presidents don't do business off of sentiment ask Danny Ainge you could get you could get all your flowers and thank yous later when you come back GMs and presidents got to put the team in position to win a championship and you just got to see what you will see when they come to the negotiation table in two years when it's money time for him we'll see how they feel We'll see how both sides feel and, and take it from there. You know, the sentiment is great. Yeah, all NBA, all of that. All-star, great. Culture, all of that, great. Got to win. And if you don't, you got to figure out what your options are. That's what GMs do, man. <clears throat> uh, uh-oh, here we go. Here we go. Double R in the building now. Let me get his music up. And I got to play the music kind of low because last time I played it loud, his, his label came after me with a copyright. Robert Randolph says, source told me today they spoke to teams at the bottom. They spoke to teams at the bottom are positioning to play the Knicks. They all think they can have a better path to second or third round facing the Knicks and two and three seed Pacers, Philly Orlando. Okay. Shout out to Robert Randolph, Al. I have no idea what that means, but it's Friday night. It's almost Saturday. And, uh, yeah, shout out to Robert, man. Shout out to Robert and them. Yeah, turn it down a little bit. Yeah, his label, his label came after me for this. <laughs> yeah, Robert, oh, man, good, you got to get called the dogs off, man. I, you know, I'm supporting yeah, you, Yeah, where's, where's the love and support, man? Yeah. I thought you, you know, I thought we were cool. That's, that's my favorite song, Robert. All right, now you're pushing it. Could, could you, could you read? Could, I mean, could you make sense of it? What he said? Source told me today they spoke to teams at the bottom, are positioning to play the Knicks. They all think they have a better path to two third round facing Knicks at two and three seed Pacers Philly Orlando. Yeah, uh, yeah. I, I read it twice. They and spoke I kind of, to I'm teams lost. at the bottom. So he, he's saying <laughs> that his source spoke to teams at the yeah. bottom of. Playoffs and playing contention, I guess. Yeah. Are positioning to play the Knicks because they all, all believe they can have a better path to the second and third round. Yeah. After going through the Knicks at either two or three seed. So for Pacers, Philly. You got it? Up. Yeah. Okay. All right. It's good on you, man. It's good translations. For, you know, good job. Hey, man. You know, uh, sometimes you got to, you know. <laughs> You know, as a historian, CP, you had to learn how to read hieroglyphics, broken English. Context you know, we, clues. We, we, yeah, that. we had to do all that. All right, man. Shout out to Robert, man. Call back anytime. Jeffrey Fato, franchise channel member, Al $10 Super Chat says it's time to stand Brunson as the captain of the ship. Officially, he is him. He's been him since last year. He's been here since last year, man. Marlon Small, $10 Super Chat, says, uh, if you could have one Nick from these garbage times, not mellow on this team, who would it be? Give me Galloway. Galloway over Burks. Langston Galloway? Give me J.R. Smith. Oh, yes. Give me Earl. That's a good one. Yeah. That's a really good one. Yeah. I mean, I mean, you know, I think a lot of players from back at that time. Yeah, give me Earl, man. Off the bench. This is Jamal Crawford. No. What? Jace, like, yo, JC's my guy. One of my favorite Knicks of all time. Didn't impact winning enough. What? Didn't impact winning enough. I don't see it. I'd rather go JR. <clears throat> With, unti- with untying shoelaces and all. 
Who, who would you guys rather have in the chat? Crawford or Smith? With Mine this, with this good. Knicks team, with this Knicks team, yeah. Give me another score and guy who can control the rock off the bench. Give me JC. I mean, Smith, Jr. can do the same thing. Yeah. I just felt like he was just a little better. Seeing Amon Shumpert, Tyson Chandler. We don't have a center. <sighs> yeah, I don't think. Yeah, we don't necessarily need Tyson. Um... Spreewell, Mason, Oakley. Those are all good names, too. I'm lo- I'm looking at, uh, yeah, there's a lot of people saying JR, man. David Lee. D. Lee. D. Lee, definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. For sure. Right now, without Randall, we could certainly use David Lee. For sure. For sure. I think I'm, I think I'm taking Earl, man. Hmm. He was a six man. JC won the six man, not with the Knicks. You know, Earl won a six man with the Knicks. On the Woodson. Yes, he did. And then what happened in the playoff, CP? <laughs> <laughs> Made us play one extra game against Boston with the theatrics. That's Keep that what, in mind. I think that's what set the bad vibes, man, with, with Indiana making bro, us lose game one. That was definitely what set the we bad vibes. We had to play the vibes. extra game. Like, bro, it, like, yeah, he set us back a little bit, man. He was feeling himself after he got the six man of the year award. Yeah. Anthony Parcel Zebo. I hated that trade, man. I understood it. I was I was in a bad place when we traded Crawford and Zebo on the same day. I was so vexed, bro. What do you guys think about that day, man? When they, they, they when they traded Crawford and Zebo in the same day, bro. I really, I really thought that team had good potential, man. I there really talent. did, man. You there, had there was there was talent. It was just whether the talent could all, bro. Fit. You had Steph, JC, Q, Rich. Zebo and yes, the Curry thing and in its totality was a disaster. But that year, he was a borderline All Star. Cur- tell me I'm wrong. He was a borderline All Star that year. East City. That's when they called him East City. Remember that? Yo, that that was a starting five. That squad had potential, man. That was a good five right there. And he says I was t- I was tight when they traded Z Bone and JC that in the same day, bro. Brandon Jennings, that's an interesting name. Oh no, 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 definitely not, definitely not. I really like that. Ramon scene. Sessions, CP. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> <laughs> There was no bigger indictment on Frank at the point guard than when the Knicks just kept finding, trying to get point guards off the street. Jared Jack, Ramon Sessions. <laughs> Emmanuel Moutier, come back from China, please. We Trey need a point Burke. guard. Trey Burke. Every year they were bringing in more and more point guards to step. Oh, Knicks fans couldn't understand it. We got our guy. He's Frank. No, 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 no. No. I understood. It's, I remember that first video of him like practicing mid range. I'm like, yo, his shot is taking way too long, bro. Insane. It was like a wind up. Insane. It was like a pitcher's <laughs> wind up, like pitch. <laughs> Insane. Insane. Man. All right, still go, still go on the Discord. Go ahead. Check one two. Check one two. Loud, loud, loud and clear, man. How you feeling? First and foremost, can I just say? That watching Alex's face yeah. when you started pulling up ISOZO highlights <laughs> was peak comedy. I was, I was in my Gus Johnson bag. Slowly, you could slowly see the light leave this man's eyes <laughs> as he was reliving that 17 <laughs> win season. Good lord. This this man was like, get yeah. me out of here. Yeah. I, yeah. Tr- I already lived through this once. I don't want to see this again. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but, all right. Since, since uh, Alex got close. Alex got close. But since none of y'all can speak fluent Randall Hive. Okay. Let me translate what Sergeant Sources was saying in the chat. Yes. 
he's saying that those other teams want us. Okay. We got to teach them otherwise. We know those people that are Miami fans. Okay. They think they can smell blood in the water because what we did last season. Mm -hmm. Now we got to be ready because we may very well see them in the first round. Hey, you got to be that ready for everybody, man. Possibility. And yeah, it's a very who, real who do you want to see out there, man? Who do you want to see out there? Who do I want to see? Yeah. All right, let's see who like who are who are the options again? Pacers, Heat, Sixers, roughly something like that. Pacers, Heat, Sixers. Okay. Three, I think out of the three of them, I go for Pacers even though I know that that would mean that we're probably the three seed and not the two. Mm -hmm. But I look, I, I think that the Pacers have been suspect lately. I think mm. that they've slowed down a lot from that wild offense that they put up earlier in the season. Mm -hmm. I think that as a team, they they kind of jumped too far too fast and they're not really experienced yeah. in that way, in the way that a team needs to be kind of yeah. the way that people look at OKC in the West, they're kind of young. And so they need, a, they need probably a year or two to really get into playoff contention mm -hmm. or in terms of like being a contending team. So I'm going to say, I want the, uh, the Pacers as far as first round. Um, I'm just disappointed I'm not going to get to see, or probably not going to get to see the Magic first round. Because mm. if we, especially if we had Randall. Yeah. I think that, I think that Nick's Magic would be in contention for being one of the most entertaining basketball series of the entire playoffs. Just because mm. I like the way that our team plays, especially with Randall. And I like the way that the magic plays just period. Yeah. And so I think that probably would be a fun series to watch. Yeah. But as far as who do I think we have the best chance against, I'm going with the Pacers. Just okay. Just to get into the second round. That's fair. That's fair. Um, um <clears throat> And we got a three-way tie for the number one seed in the West right now. Thunder Wolves Nuggets. Three-way tie out. Come down to the last game. All right, Silico, appreciate the call, man. Call back anytime, man. Sir, yes, sir. I'll be back next time. Yes, sir. Silico on the Discord. I am looking forward, you know, just as a, uh, uh, you know, outside looking in. I am looking forward to uh, to seeing Paolo in the playoffs. That him and Franz are gonna be very interesting. Yeah. But they're gonna be like the Knicks, man. They they don't have any perimeter shooting, so. It's going to be easy to game plan for them as long as long as their opponent can play f a physical brand of basketball as well. But Paolo, Franz, that team is is, is gritty, stacked. Yeah. Even no, though like, Franz is Franz hasn't really been you know he hasn't really been cooking like that man this year. He hasn't. But you know, for for me, I just look at it as a learning curve for him. Yeah. So I expect him to get back on on track next season. Some guys, you know, they take a dip the following season and they figure it out. It's tough in their early phases of your of a young NBA career where you fully grasp everything and put it all together. You know, it's like a puzzle. You're trying to you're trying to figure out different aspects of your game. You know, while still learning the NBA tempo, there's a lot going on. So I think he'll be back to his normal self next season. But Magic Man, I mean, they're a shocking team. I, I'm impressed with how. You saw that they were competitive last year, but they really took a step in the right direction this season. I mean, they went from being out of contention to being a top six team in the East. Now you could say, hey, that's due to Miami and Philly, especially with like some injuries and just their lack of consistency in overall play. But kudos to them for being a top six team right now. I mean, things can still change, but yeah, solid for them. 100%, man. Three-way tie in the West. So to everybody in the chat, once again, hit that thumbs up on free boys, man. CP and Alex on the ones and twos. Knicks win 111 to 107. Call us up, man, 657-383-1509. Or you can hit us up on the KFTV Discord. Let's bring him back in now. Let's bring him back in. 
Rambo, Rambo from Tampa in the building. Rambo, how you feeling, man? Man, I'm feeling oh so sweet Let's with go. a net sweep of the year. I love it. <laughs> I can't even be mad right now. I'm, I'm listening. I'm gonna make this real sweet and short, man. You know, it's gonna be a bit of a rapid fire night, man. Okay, I don't know all the Julius Randle talk, man. Y'all killing my vibes, man. It's playoff time, man. Let's get right, man. Let's get ready. Um, I want the Heat. I want the Heat. The first round. I feel like you gotta face your fears. Y'all sound scared. I, I feel like you gotta sometimes face your past to see your future. You know, I, I had a vision tonight, and that's what it is for me. It's the Heat. Heat first round. You know, Easter Conference Finals. Philly home home court advantage. Let Philly knock out out Boston. Let Boston have that nasty taste in their mouth. They not even gonna see us in the playoffs, man. Y'all stay focused, man. Y'all stay up. Love. You already know. Handle your business, guys. Make sure you send out the good morning text because there's net fans out there that have a lot of time on their hands. I'm just saying they don't got nothing else to do, so <laughs> they might as well try to mess with you. Set them the blueprint. But I'm just trying to tell you, man. Best part of my day is waking up next to my wife. That's what I text in the morning. That's what you got to say. Little stuff. Talk to me nice, man. Listen, you know? man. You, you got to let them know because because between between JD and the play by play and then post game live, that could be like a five six hour session right there. You know what I'm saying? You need you need that TV time. You and you can't time. miss the play by play. No, nah. it's literally the be- it's the best thing you can find out there. I mean, do you That's hear? A- you know, I'm not even gonna get into these commentators because yeah. they they've been trash all year, man. Yeah. yeah. If you're not listening to KFTV, what are you doing? Facts. That that's now, it, man. Y- y- I know where to find us. They they know where to find us, man. They they know where to find us, man. So, uh, th- there it is, man. Let's let's lock in. Salute to you, my guy. We here, man. Holler. That's Rambo from Tampa. Let's go to some sound bites, Al. See what the players got to say. From tonight's game, here was uh, OG at Anobi on um, the Knicks getting home court advantage in the first round. Let's hear what OG had to say. It's courtesy of uh, SNY Videos. Here we go. D, you haven't been here that long, but you guys clinched at least home court. Mm-hmm. What kind of advantage do you think that's going to give you guys? Uh, I think it'll be a big advantage, you know, just watching games from or like watching other playoff games, or like watching Knicks games, seeing the home court. Mm-hmm. And- how rowdy it gets. It's a huge advantage, so definitely exciting. All right, so OG's ready for a raucous Madison Square Garden crowd. Uh, here is OG coming to the aid of Jalen Brunson when Cam Thomas got down with his theatrics. Let's hear what OG had to say. Here we go. You don't seem like a guy that usually gets that emotive or mm-hmm. upset about stuff like that. Was it just because Jalen and, you know, you saw what happened? Um, yeah, I don't want to ever see a teammate pushed. Mm. Just, yeah, that's it. Nothing more. Got right to it. Straight to the point. I don't want to see a teammate get pushed, man. Everybody should have should have should have uh came to Brunson's rescue right there. Yeah, it was a weak move by Cam. Yeah. Because he was frustrated. Yeah. His team stinks. Yeah. That, that, hey man, just move back to New Jersey. It's all good. That's it. That that that's it, man. It it was a weak move, man. And uh, it, it was Cam Thomas's reaction to it all. Here's, here's what he had to say on that uh, on said play when he pushed Brunson. Here we go. I don't know. It was a foul. And he just fell over exaggerated. And I was just I was going to the other way. You know, I don't pay nobody for mine. They want nobody throwing nothing on the court. So I was just he just over exaggerated flop. So kudos to him for that. Mm. Called it a flop, and then at the same time said uh. Yeah, kind of took a shot at OG right there too, man. Took a shot at him. Well, you know, that team's not in the playoffs. Yeah. Or the play-in. Yeah, that's how it goes, man. I can't hear you from the bottom, so I don't even know what he said. Oof. Yeah, who cares about them? It's New Jersey Nets at the end of the day. No offense. Uh, all right, let's let's. Oh, I gotta hear from my guy Nate from Rochester, man. Let's get to my guy Nate, man. Let's get to my guy Nate. Nate, if you're there, go ahead and unmute your mic, man. Nate's a day one. He's an OG, man. Yeah, yeah, you got me, you got me. Yeah, loud and clear, man. How you feel, man? 
Hey, I'm feeling good, man. Uh, mm -hmm. Put some court today, I think, right? Say that one more time. You get speak a little bit louder into your mic. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, there we go. There we go. How you doing? Bad, 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 bad. Um, yeah. So, um, yeah, I don't really got no opinions to bring right now. I just been going through the schedule and going through every scenario. Mm -hmm. And from what I've uh, found out so far, it's looking like we're gonna play Philly. But um, right now, I think the best case scenario is uh, you hope that Milwaukee is going to lose against Orlando to put mm -hmm. us in the second seed because that puts us in the. Uh, home court for the next two rounds. Mm -hmm. and that also sends Philadelphia down to the uh, play-in. Mm -hmm. And then at that point, we play the winner of Philadelphia and Miami. And Miami's a bunch of war criminals, so you don't know what they're going to do. It's mm -hmm. like Philly or what Embiid's going to do, like flop and hurt somebody. Mm -hmm. So it, that's going to be a real rough play-in game for one of them. And that puts us in position to take out one of them. And yeah. it makes our path easier because then we got whoever's in the 4-5 seed. I'm not worried about any of them at all. Yeah. Honestly, that first round is going to be much harder than our second round. So, you know, honestly, I think we should be uh, preparing to play Philly. I think that's the most likely scenario. I think we have the advantage. I think um, all around our roster is better, and I trust Jalen Brunson more than I do them being the playoffs. And uh, that's all I really got, man. Appreciate yeah. it, man. Yeah, so, be... so the Pacers' final game is against the Hawks. The Hawks are locked in at 10. You know, does Quinn Snyder rest guy? I don't see him resting guys. I would have to think that, you know, they're trying to get some momentum going into the play-in. Pacers have to play them at home. They're home against the Hawks on Sunday. And then, obviously, the Knicks play the Bulls. I don't think, you know, Philly thing's not a slam dunk. If the, if the Pacers win, if everybody wins out, this is what it is. It's Knicks-Pacers. Yep. So I don't necessarily think that you know it, it's a it's a it's a Knicks Sixers thing. Sixers have the Nets. Yeah, most likely they'll win. They're going to be at home. But if everybody else wins, um, yeah, they'll they'll stay the same. Now, if Orlando loses, well, I, okay, I guess where he's saying is that if Milwaukee loses to Orlando which we don't know the status of Dame. Giannis isn't playing. You don't know the status of Dame. This game is going to be in at, at Orlando. Mm. So could be a Bucks loss there and a Knicks win. Then, yeah, you, you then, then, yeah, you're looking at the winner of, uh, of, of Philly, Miami. And, you know, you'd be looking at that. Let's say the Knicks are number two, CP. If the Knicks are number two, and we got to wait for that play-in game to get over, it, it's not guaranteed it's going to be the Sixers. It could also be the Miami Heat. Could be Miami. Which, good God. <laughs> oh, man. Chaos. It is going to be chaos on Sunday at 1 o'clock. Let's go. Let's go. I don't care who we face, man. Ooh. I don't care, man. I, I really don't, man. It's playoff time. It's money time, bro. It is money time. If we are built for it, we are built for it. That's it. So you went from not wanting to play the Miami Heat to saying you don't care anymore. I, I just feel like revenge would be fantastic. It, they would be the would toughest be matchup. Beautiful. They would be the toughest matchup, but they would be the best victory, if that makes sense. It would Definitely be beautiful. Makes sense. Beautiful. Toughest matchup, to but the best the case heat. of revenge. If the Knicks had to play the Heat without Julius Randle being down, and you take down Eric Spolstra, Jimmy Butler, Bam Adebayo, Tyler Hero, yeah. Jaime Hawkes, yeah, you got to be thrilled. It will be fantastic, man. And honestly, if you beat the Miami Heat with that roster and that and their head coach, you got to go. feel on top of the world and that you can take down anybody. Yeah. Let's go. Rip they the, they are the, the witness test. Rip, rip the band-aid off. What are, what are we waiting on? Let's go. You know? I want revenge. I, I went to the game a couple weeks ago. We got smoked. I want revenge, bro. You also just want to go back to Miami. You like Miami more than <laughs> <laughs> It was a vibe, you know. You know, with Knicks Nation down there, it's a vibe. You're in New York. Yeah, South. I get a CP look. It's Miami. It's second New York at this point. You know, everybody. I don't. Down I there don't got to pack the sandwiches. You know, I could go down there and 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 eat well. 
Yeah, instead instead of taking, you know, a winter coat, you get to take your bathing suit. We right. Get it. Take the jet ski out, you know? A little, little something here and there. It'd be much more pleasant than going to Indiana, wouldn't it? Yeah, you you want to look at palm trees instead of pine might trees. Be, might be it. snowing in Indiana. You go over there. You don't know. It's unpredictable, man. So you don't want to take – you'd rather do a jet ski, but you're not into snowmobiles? No. Is that what you're telling me? Oh, no, no. no that I am. I am. Oh. And I, yeah, oh. I, yeah. I'm actually – I'm trying to get a trip out to Denver next year uh, when they do play Denver. Hopefully it's around, you know, appropriate season. But I do I, – I have, I've never been snowmobiling before. I do want to do it. And uh, I've been having my, my sights set on Denver because I've never been there – Mm. Mile high. Want to check it all out? You know what I mean. Denver's a vibe, man. You've been definitely there. Definitely check out the yeah. You've been there. Definitely check out the Red Rocks. Okay, yeah. okay. The Red Rocks. Yeah. Sounds a little edgy. What's that about? You got the Red Rock Amphitheater over there, so you can go check a concert out there. It's out in the open, so you okay. can go see the night sky with whoever's performing. Yeah. But it's yeah. also good hiking out there too. Oh, all right, all right, all right. That that'd be nice, man. Yeah, man. Just make sure to drink a lot of water. Yeah. You are in high altitude. I heard. I saw when when uh when our guy Anthony went out there, they have uh altitude warnings, altitude sickness warnings, which was very interesting. So um, so yeah. I, I wouldn't mind that, man. Denver's cool though. There's anybody any anybody in the chat been snowmobiling, man? What's the deal? Big Nick Energy says Denver is dope. They're also very nice out there. I could very imagine. Nice. It's the Mile High State, man. You know, Mile you High know. City. Yeah, I, 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 I Mile High for many reasons. <laughs> <laughs> I would have to assume that they are friendly peoples out there. You know. So yeah, oh, man. Shout out, shout out to I will, I will tell you this. Them. I will tell you this. Yeah. When I went out there with with the with the misses. Yeah, you know she has, uh, you know she can't have, um, what was it, like she can't have like peanuts, cashews, or anything like that in her mm-hmm. food, mm-hmm. and we would try to make sure that you know it wasn't in her meal. They accidentally put in her meal. She's mm. like, hey, I, oh, I she's got a peanut there. allergy. Yeah, she's got a peanut allergy. Wow. So any, so anyway, we bring it to the waiter's attention. They're saying, sorry, 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 mm-hmm. this meal's on the house because we made an accident. So we got a free meal and a free dessert afterwards for all of that. That happened to us twice out there. Wow. Twice. Yeah. Very friendly people. Nice. Okay. All right. And they take accountability. There we go. The, there we go, man. Man, we, we went so late into the show. Um, Forgot to do our sponsor read, man. So to everybody in the chat once again, uh, tonight's episode is brought to you guys by Manscaped, fellas. Salute to my guys at Manscaped, the spring cleaning champions, man, this season. Make sure to groom your carpets and the drapes with the leaders in below the waist grooming, man. Clear out that winter bush with Manscaped's Lawnmower 5.0 and watch your confidence bloom like the springtime flowers, man. Embrace the season and join the 10 million men worldwide who trust Manscaped with our offer, man. Go to manscaped.com, use our code KFTV for uh, 20% off plus free shipping. That's manscaped.com, promo code KFTV for 20% off plus free shipping. All right, man. That was our Manscaped readout. All right, real quick, we'll go through uh, the uh, the stats of the night and, and wrap this up, man. Knicks versus Nets, 111-107. Knicks handling business. And one more left, man. One down, one to go. All right, good show. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right, key stats of the night, Al. And let me just pull it up. Okay. All right, man. Um, both teams shooting the ball pretty well, man. 50% for the Nets from the field, 45 for the Knicks. Uh, 46% for the Knicks from downtown. 84% from the charity stripe, which is pretty good. They did lose a rebound in battle by quite a bit. No, Hartenstein was a big difference here. Uh, they lost by 14, the rebounding battle. And then assists, relatively tied. 10 steals for the Knicks tonight, which is pretty good. I thought that was part of their uh, second quarter and third quarter blitz. Of the Nets, uh, 14 Nets turnovers did lead to 14 Knicks points, which I thought was also big in getting them back into t- to the game. 17 fast break points for the Knicks. Good job there to six for the Nets. Points in the paint, 52 for the Nets, 40 for the Knicks. They got to cut that down uh, and uh, play better defense, but they couldn't keep Cam Thomas and those guys out of the paint. A largest lead for the Nets, 17. Largest for the Knicks, 
at 11. Yeah, man, look, this was a this wasn't the prettiest game for the Knicks, you know, when you just look at it, but thankfully they came out of shooting slump to really, you know, get things into gear. I mean, the rebounding discrepancy is just horrific. You can't have a game like this, especially going into the playoffs, considering the rebounding is your bread and butter. 45 to 31 for the Brooklyn Nets in that category is a little gross, but you will get everything else, especially shooting wise. Things turned out in good favor. The big thing to me, though, was the fast break point, CP. It was just lopsided in that category, 17 to 6. You saw the Knicks were looking to get out and transition and get easy scoring on a young Brooklyn Nets team, especially since they didn't have a lot of their regulars in there. I mean, as we noted, Bridges to even play the fourth quarter, you're relying on Cam Thomas. Uh, who else was out there? I think you had um, Wilson, who was doing a good job guarding Brunson as well. So it was a lot of the young guys who weren't necessarily prepared for this type of performance, but. I like that. I like that the Knicks are trying to get out in transition and score because they're going to need to do that in the postseason when you go against tough teams. So the yeah. fact that they're looking to do that, very encouraging. You want to see them win points in the paint, obviously, second chance opportunities. Um, but overall, we know how it started. It was a game they had to work their way back in. Good thing they just shot the ball well at the end. Yep. There you go, man. All right, so there we have it, man. Great show. That De- definitely went uh... – a little bit over than we would have liked, but, you know, had a good time doing it. Great show, Al. Great show, all the mods. Uh, remember to sh- catch the show in audio podcast format, man. No reason to miss it. We are on every podcast platform. Uh, so to the replay, gang, if you guys did miss it, let me make sure I catch all the super chats before we bounce. 2,000 people on the check-in. Hit the like button, hit the share button, and subscribe to the channel before you go. Lloyd Barker Rock Jr., welcome to the Franchise Channel members. Mr. J. Russ, Franchise Channel members, his top three, fellas. We got the Cavs in the tiebreaker uh, with one more game left. No more four spot. Salute. Salute to do things. Rhyme Animal Chuck D. Salute. Uh, Sam I am 2024 salute King Fuego 1420 says Jalen Brunson is going to be the reason Joe Mazzula gets fired I don't think Joe Mazzula is getting fired Calvin B salute franchise channel member uh, Chuck D says Julius helping recruit Brunson in Dallas made me feel great about uh, Julius okay got that one as well still says $10 super chat says respect my man Juju that's my king right there okay shout out to Abdul Al Abdul Says, um, good win. Definitely sounds like there's some excitement in the air. Adding a second star to the seam sounds like an intriguing discussion for later. Shout out to Del Will, man. $10 Super Chat says the best Cavs can do is tie, and we won two or three. So why didn't we clinch the third seed? Best Cavs can do is tie, and we won two or three. Uh, okay, we got to take go back and take a look at it. Um, shout out to Mac Mac, a freak NY. And Terrell Johnson Jr., um, says Macau Bridges as a replacement. I don't hate Julius, respect him in his game, but I'm looking for a chip. Well, Macau's got to play better, man. He's over there just chummy, chummy, and j- joking around. We need some dog in him. He's, he's, he's looking a little complacent right now. He should have been out, out there, there doing Peloton treadmill yeah, workouts. Out there, there eating Chipotle with Josh Hart, man. Like, man, if I was a Nets fan, I'd be wanting to trade this guy in a heartbeat. Jeffrey yeah, Fr- on the cheap. You know, you yeah. should want to trade him to the New York Knicks. Yeah. On the cheap, you know, for two second rounders. Yeah, man. Santiago Rodriguez, love the channel. Keep up the great work. Real work, KFTV, big fan. Shout out to Redman's Mag Fed Games, $10 Super Chat. He was in Miami with us. His Hawks match up better against the Celtics, and I want Miami. Let's go. Shout out to uh, Rambo. He says, Miami, Orlando, Philly, respect tour to the finals. Shout out to Brendan Cooney. He says, uh, if the Magic beat the Bucks, we likely get 2-7 matchup with the Philly. With Philly. If the Bucks beat the Magic, it will be 3-6 matchup with Philly. So, Philly either way. Uh, no, not necessarily. You don't don't uh, discount the Pacers. Um, shout out to Trevon Neal as well, man. Franchise channel member. All right, people. Great show. See you guys Sunday. One down, one to go. So, to Knicks Nation, man. No more show for the fans by the fans. CP and Alex, we out of here. Peace. Yeah, yo, my bad, bro. I didn't, I didn't even see the time got away, bro. I didn't even uh, see. Yeah, you should have texted me or something, bro. Like, I, I didn't know, man. My fault. It's all good. All right, man. I'll holler at you tomorrow, bro. Yeah, man. I'll catch you later. All right. Good luck tomorrow. Appreciate it, man. Yep. Peace. All right, later.